Okay, I'm back. Let's get started. Okay, so sitting on your block. I'm sitting on the block. Sitting down. So make sure that your sit bones are on the block. So moving any flesh so your sit bones are on the block. And crossing, let's cross just above the ankles today. So crossing just above the ankles. Now, if this is uncomfortable, you can put a cushion underneath the knees if you need to, or you know, just like this. If you have a small towel, you can put it right under your feet. Okay. And just close your eyes. Tuning into your breath. Finding that stillness, just following the breath. Coming into your nose. Filling your lungs. Coming out of your nose. Bringing the awareness now into your spine, your lower spine, your mid spine, and your upper spine, stacking them in one line. Letting your knees and your hips be heavy and let gravity take over. So you'll notice as you lengthen your spine, your knees and hips want to lift. You want to let them just soften, let them relax. Rolling your shoulders back a few times and forth a few times both ways, just rolling them. And then again backwards and letting the after a few rolls letting the shoulder blades slide down your back letting your collarbone open bring the awareness now to your arms letting your arms soften letting your hands open onto your knees Bringing your neck and your head in line with your spine. Creating that space, just allowing your neck to grow. Imagine each vertebrae in your neck reaching higher for the ceiling, but keeping your shoulders down. So as your neck elongates, the distance between your ear and your shoulders is getting longer and longer. Bringing your hands to your heart, thumbs to your chest, fingers all pressed together. Feeling the energy from each of your fingers, feeling the connection. Begin the class with one ohm. Exhale to prepare. Inhale.
setting our intention today of gratitude. For a moment, finding your heart chakra, just just in the center of your body near your heart, and bringing your awareness there. feeling gratitude, thinking of someone, something, maybe it's yourself, that you can feel this for. And as we practice today, practicing with the idea of gratitude in our minds, as we move through our postures. Good, slowly open your eyes, remove your block and come down onto your mat if you're, if you're sitting on a block or what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to bring your toes together. We're going to come into child's pose to start. Toes together, knees are apart, sitting back on your heels, bringing your chest down to the mat, head down to the mat. So if your chest may not touch, that's okay. With each breath, allowing your body to come further down to the mat. So if this is too much, if raising your arms along the mat above your head is too much for your shoulder blades, you can bend them like cactus arms. So as we breathe, sink those hips back onto the heels, sinking the chest down towards the mat, stretching the, the you'll feel this stretching maybe in the lower back in your thighs, your glutes, your, your um, groin muscles, depending on where we are a little tight. Good, now inhale, reaching your arms behind you, interlacing your fingers. So just keeping your hands along, on your back to begin with. So let's all get here. Now, from here, inhale, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, reach your arms long and up off your back. So as we're reaching here, both arms are reaching, just taking your arms to wherever you, can, you are today. Feeling the stretch without too much, without pain. Good, and then inhale and release, release your hands down. One more time, switch the finger grip. So switch the fingers by one digit Okay, stretching the arms long, roll the shoulders, and then inhale, and as you exhale, reaching the arms up. The thumbs are also hooked in, they're not just, re they're not just hanging around. Reaching the arms up and over. Good, inhale, reaching the hands Good. Using your hands, pushing up to sitting, but staying on your legs the way they are. I'm just going to slide forward so you can see me. So now my butt is on my heels. If this is too much for your, for your, for your thighs, you can always put a block there and sit on the block like that. Okay? So sitting down. So I'm sitting on my heels now. I'm not sitting between my heels. I'm sitting on my heels. Inhale, reaching your arms up, hooking your thumbs like butterflies, reaching up, stretching. Good, and then inhale, hinging over to the right. So I'm gonna turn so you can, you can I can face the camera. You stay where you are. Good, inhale, come back to center, switch the thumb grips over to the left. Some of you, this may feel 
um, a good stretch on the ankles. This is good to do because it really helps with our mobility in our foot. It's a little different than how we usually sit. Inhale, hands back to center. Good. Releasing your hands down. So come before we come onto all fours for cat, for um, cat and cow. I want to show you something. I want you to take your hands and I want you to stretch them out in front of you. I just want to show you something about alignment. So now, see your elbows. A lot of times they're facing inward. Okay. I want you to turn your turn your arms so that your elbows face up. Okay. So now your elbows are facing to the ceiling. Right now. Bringing your hands back to center, but keeping your elbows facing to the ceiling. Yeah, it's hard. They want to turn in. So when you do that, you'll notice that stretch along the back, the back. That's the way our hands are in downward dog. In downward dog, our hands are, are facing forward, but our elbows are actually facing forward also. So that gives us that rotation in the arms, okay? It's just a little alignment tip. Okay, let's come down to cat and cow. Hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, toes are untucked, hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart. Okay, again, look at your elbows here. They may be turning in. This is a good try, uh, try to turn them forward. When you turn them forward, you'll notice, though you'll feel the stretch in the back of the body. So let's do our cat and cow, our spinal articulation. So starting with cow, in using linking to the breath, Inhaling, inhale, 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 looking forward, tailbone back. Yes, and then exhale, exhale. Chin comes to chest, tailbone comes down. Okay, and then inhale, 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 looking forward, tailbone back. And then exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale, chin to chest, tailbone down. Good, coming back to neutral, lifting that right leg, pointing it to the wall behind you, getting, getting that balance, so keep it, so sometimes when we do this, that hip wants to lift. We wanna square the hips, both, both hips are pointed straight. Wanna make them nice and square, and then inhale, and as you exhale, without moving anything, reaching that left arm's long. Good, inhale, bringing the left elbow to the right knee, curling in, exhale, stretching long. Again, inhale, left elbow, right knee, exhale, stretching long. Again, inhale, left elbow, right knee, squeezing in, and then exhale, lengthening long. Two more times, inhale, Left elbow, right knee, exhale, stretching long. One more time, inhale. Left elbow, round that spine, and then exhale, lengthening nice and long. Squeeze, you have to squeeze those abs, keeping everything strong. Good, inhale, and as you exhale, both hand and leg down to the mat. Coming back to center, we'll do another round of cat and cat. So inhale, linking your breath, inhale, 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 looking forward, tailbone back. And then exhale, 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 chin to chest, tailbone down. Good, come back to neutral. Now you know what's coming. When we do one side, we always do the other. So first, find your, find your center. You know, make sure your hips are not shifting to one side, you're not forward or back, you're nice and center. I know it's hard sometimes because you don't have a mirror. And then inhale, lifting that left leg, pointing it to the wall behind you. So, keeping the hips square, keeping that left hip in line with the right hip, so it's not high above it. Good, and then from here, lifting the right arm, lengthening. So here you're stretching the arms. So the arms are active, the legs are active. From your tips of your toes to your fingertips, nice and active. Good, now inhale, bring the Right elbow, left knee, rounding the spine. Exhale, reaching long. Again, inhale, elbow to knee, round. Exhale, nice and long. Again, inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, stretching long. Feel the stretch, you're gonna feel this in your abs. I know you need to balance here, squeeze those abs. Again, two more, inhale, 
elbow to knee, and then exhale, nice and long. One more, inhale, elbow to knee, and then exhale, stretching long. Feel the stretch, stretching, good. And then bringing the hand and the knee down. Good, from here, walking your hands just one uh, palm length forward, curling your toes and pushing up, downward facing dog. So, in your downward dog, a few things. First, looking at your hands, making sure the hand is engaged. Remember, all four points. So basically under the four points of the hand are pressing in all the fingers. Everything is nice and strong, but you're not scrunching. I don't want you to scrunch up your knuckles. Fingers spread nice and wide. And then looking at your feet, we want our, our, our um, thumb to basically line up with our big toe. That's a good, a good alignment point. And then if your heels don't touch, don't worry. Just work on use, um, stretching your body long. They will touch one day. This. Look at your elbows now. Remember about turning those elbows forward. Notice how when you do that, the upper back stretches. Okay, walk your heels right and left. Alternating heels, just loosening up the back of the body. For some of you it's morning, for some it's afternoon. Maybe you're still in your pajamas, whether it's morning or afternoon. Yoga in pajamas is great. And then holding the right foot down, lifting the left foot, coming onto the ball of the foot, just static stretch, hold. The stretch is out the back of the leg. And switch. Left foot down, right foot. Just coming onto the ball of the foot, hold. Good, both heels down, back to downward dog. Pressing through the arms, bringing the chest back towards the thighs. Breathing. Good, from here, stepping the right foot forward and the left foot forward, folding forward. So now we're folding forward, rolling up, hands vertebrae by vertebrae, coming to standing. Good, okay, inhale, reach the arms up, hold on to the elbows, lengthen. So I want you to lengthen first. A lot of times when, I, when we lengthen, we use our arms, but we don't use the rest of our bodies. So press through your feet. Press, imagine your legs are lengthening, your torso is lengthening, your back is lengthening, your arms are lengthening. When you do that, you can really feel it in the entire side of the body. So inhale, lengthening your body, and then exhale, hinging over to the right. So now, the left side is really stretching, but this right arm gets a little lazy. We wanna make sure that's stretching also, nice and long. Good, back to center. Again, get that length, and then exhale, hinging over to the left. You're gonna come up, is that like, like there's a big ball here. I'm coming up and over that ball. Good, inhale back to center. Good, releasing your hands, stepping to the front of your mat, We'll do our, our sun salutation. So now feet are together, standing strong, legs are strong. Okay, inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, bending your knees, left leg back, knee to the ground. So let's just take a stretch here. Your hands can be on the mat. They can be on two blocks if you need to, no problem. You're just sinking forward in the hips here. So when you sink forward, you're working on bringing this thigh touching the back of the calf, and you'll notice that left hip starts to sink forward. We're just getting warmed up still, so if you're still a little tight, take it easy. Breathe. Good, curl that toe, step back, downward facing dog. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. Good, lifting that left leg now, stepping in between the hands, right knee comes down. Same thing on the other side. Sinking that hip forward. 
So a few alignment cues that you can look for. Your foot is between your hands. Your leg is at 90 degrees and you're sinking that hip forward. So even as I sink forward, my leg stays at 90 degrees. We're not going too, we're not going, up the, we don't want the knee past the ankle. We're sinking forward in that hip. Good, inhale, stepping back, downward facing dog. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. Good, lifting that right foot forward, right foot forward now, stepping it forward. Hand, knee comes back to the mat. Walk the left hand close to the right foot. Okay, so now the left hand right near the right foot. Inhale, and as you exhale, taking a twist. Now, instead of just twisting our arm, I want you to twist, imagine from your belly. Your belly, your chest is twisting. Twist, 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 and then when you're ready, raising your arm up. That's it. Notice that right knee. Sometimes it opens. We want to hug it into the midline. If you need a little more balance, you can move the left hand a little bit further away from that right foot if you just need for balance. Reaching up, twisting from the belly, twisting the chest, reaching. Good, from here, curling that back toe, lifting that back knee off the mat. If that's too much, stay where you are, keeping that back knee down, stretching. Good, inhale, cartwheel the hands back down to the mat, downward facing dog. Stretch, feeling that stretch, bringing your chest further back towards your thighs, walking out your heels if you need to at any time. Okay, lifting that left leg now, stepping it between the hands, right to the center. So now left hand is between the hand, hand. Right hand comes close to the left foot. Now remember that twist, Twist from the belly first, then worry about the arm, okay? So inhale and as you exhale, twisting from the belly, the chest. I know sometimes our chest gets in our way, we have to twist it around, and then raising the arm up. That's it, noticing that left knee, hugging it into the midline, feeling the stretch, breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Remember this right hand, if it's too close to the foot for balance, you can move it out a little bit. Breathe, reaching that arm up, coming a little further in the twist. Good, from here, stay here, or, un or curl that back toe under, coming up off the knee, twisting. Breathing. Good, hand down to the mat, downward facing dog. Good, feeling that, take a breath. Good, coming forward into plank now. Holding the plank, squeezing, squeezing those abs. So here, hands are strong, I'm pushing through. My butt is squeezing, my legs are squeezing, my abs are squeezing, everything is squeezing. Inhale, and as you exhale, push back to downward facing dog. I'm gonna move up so you can see me. Good, lifting that right foot, pointing to the wall behind you, and opening that knee to the ceiling. So you'll have to come on the ball of the left foot, opening the knee to the ceiling. So my left heel is off the mat, I'm on the ball of my left foot, and my knee is pointing up. Both arms are pressing into the mat. Good, and then bringing that right leg down. And then the other side now. Take a downward dog, and lifting the left leg, pointing it to the ceiling, and then opening that knee up to the ceiling. So I'm on the ball of the right foot, the right heel is off the ground. Opening up, holding, pressing through the arms. Both arms are active, strong. Good, inhale, left leg comes down. Okay, one more time. Inhale, right leg, pointing it to the ceiling, coming onto the ball of the left foot, opening up the knee. 
Now, you can stay on the ball of the left foot, or you can bring the left heel down to the mat. For a little deeper stretch if you do that. Good, inhale, right leg comes down to the mat. Okay, left side, lifting the left leg, pointing it to the wall behind you, opening up that knee. You're on the ball of the right foot, so now you can stay on the ball of the right foot or bring that right heel down. Feeling the stretch. Good. Left leg comes down to the back. Good. Shirt's sure moving. Okay. Inhale. From here, press coming forward into plank, holding, squeezing, squeezing everything, pressing through. Good. Inhale, and as you exhale, coming down knees, chest and chin to like a modified push-up and then bringing the body entirely down. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into our cobra. So many of you know this pose. Hands are underneath the shoulders, like cricket wings. Feet are mat width if your back bothers you or together. And when they're together, that means the sides of the feet are glued together. The tops of the feet stay on the mat. I want you to imagine there's glue on this part of the foot and you're gluing them down. Squeeze those legs, squeeze. When you squeeze the legs, you'll notice that the, the butt cheeks rotate in, the knees come off the mat, squeeze. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze that orange between the shoulder blades, there's an orange right there, squeeze it. And then inhale, lengthen the head forward, exhale, lifting it off the mat. Head and chest off the mat. This is a modified baby cobra. This is not a full cobra. Breathing, squeezing those legs down, the tops of the toes, the big toes come down, but those little pinky toes need to squeeze down too. Breathing. Good, inhale and as you exhale, coming back down. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Again, thinking about how you can make any adjustments that you need to. You can bring your legs further apart, squeeze them together. And then inhale, squeezing the legs, rolling the shoulders. Inhale, lengthening that head forward. Exhale, raising it off the mat. Squeezing those legs down, nice and strong. You're looking at the edge of your mat, if that's okay for you, but if that bothers your neck, just look down. Squeeze, feel the stretch. Breathe, make sure you're breathing. And then inhale, and as you exhale, coming back down. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale, and then curling your toes, pushing back, downward facing dog. So we're in downward dog once again. So here, I'm gonna sit down if you can see me, okay. So here we are, looking at your alignment again, pressing through your hands, looking at those elbows, turning them forward, feeling that stretch in the back. Feeling your downward dog. Feel free to walk out your heels if you need to. No problem. Anytime, that's a great way. Give yourself a little stretch if you need to. Good. And then inhale, stepping your right foot forward and your left foot forward, folding forward. Inhale, bending your knees, bringing your arms up. And then in exhale, bringing your hands to your chest. Okay, let's do another round. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, bending your knees, left leg back. Knee is off the ground. Inhale, and as you exhale, coming into crescent. So in crescent, right leg 90 degrees. Back leg is strong. Sometimes that knee wants the drop. We wanna keep it nice and strong. Arms are strong, so arms are reaching all the way through the upper arms, the forearms. Fingers are nice and strong together. Hold. Good, inhale, hands down to the mat, stepping back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, lifting that left leg, stepping it between the hands, coming into crescent now on the other side, squeezing, stretching those arms up, Reaching.
Good. Inhale, hands back down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Bring your block near you so that you're ready. You'll need to keep it at the edge of your mat. You can use it for the, we're going to need it for the next round. Okay, inhale, lifting the right leg up, stepping in between the hands. So you're back into that set up crescent pose, grabbing your block, holding the block with both hands, inhale, and as you exhale, reaching the block above your head. So now you have to squeeze the block, right? So your arms are reaching, squeezing that block, squeezing it. Squeeze the block, sinking down. If squeezing the block is too much, you can always do without it, but try to challenge yourself if you're up for it today. Squeezing, stretching those arms long. Good, inhale, hands back down to the mat, downward facing dog. Okay, lifting that left leg, stepping it between the hands, grabbing that block again, and then inhale, Squeezing that block, sinking down. So just notice when we squeeze the block, our entire, our arms really have to work here. Squeezing, squeezing the block, sinking down. Squeezing. Good, inhale, hands back down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Okay, inhale, lifting the right leg up. Stepping it between the hands. Now back to that crescent pose without the block. But imagine it's still there. So now you're sinking down. Good. Inhale, hands to the heart. Exhale. We're going to hinge forward, twisting out to the right side. So now this is an option. Another option is to bring the hands, one hand down to the floor and reach up. So you can keep your hands in prayer or you can take the option. If they're in prayer, you're working on bringing the hands to the center of the chest, that's the goal. So you wanna twist, 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 but the twist comes from the belly and the heart, the center, not just from the shoulders. Good, inhale, hands back down to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Yeah, so this twists are really great for activating all the digestive organs. And then inhale, lifting the left leg, stepping in between the hands, back into that crescent pose again, as if that block is there. And then again, hands to the heart, inhale, stepping forward, exhale, take, inhale, sorry, leaning forward, exhale, take a twist. So again, here you are, you're twisting. The twist comes from the belly and the chest, twisting. Remember, you can always use the block to support your hands if you need to. Twisting. Breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Remembering that gratitude, how good this feels. Your body will thank you. And then inhale, hands back down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Okay, coming forward into plank, holding, squeezing. Good, and then coming down knees, chest and chin. Okay, we're gonna do bow pose now. So some of you have done this with me before. If it's new, just follow along. We'll do it twice so you get a second chance to do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab onto your ankles from the outside. Okay, so in this posture, all the strength comes from kicking our, hand, our, our ankles or our feet into our hands. That's the strength. When we do that, our legs will lift and our chest will lift naturally. So, to prepare, inhale, roll the shoulders back. Squeeze that orange. Remember that orange between the shoulder blades. Squeeze that. So when we squeeze that, we're not just squeezing it back, we're going back down our shoulder blades and then squeezing it. So really opening up that collarbone. Okay, inhale and as you exhale, kicking into your hands, lifting your legs off the mat, your legs will come up, your head and chest will come up. It's very hard for me to talk in this posture. 
But as you breathe, inhale, kicking a little harder, exhale, coming up off the mat. Good, inhale, and as you exhale, coming back down. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time, so make any adjustment that you need to, take a breath. So remember, to get higher in the pose, you need to kick deeper into your hands. Oh, sorry, you need to kick deeper into your, yeah, into your hands, your ankles, feet have to press harder into your hands. That's gonna lift up your thighs, and then it's gonna cause your chest and your head to lift. Again, so getting ready, holding on, rolling those shoulder blades back, squeezing that shoulder, squeezing those shoulder blades, and then inhale, and then as you exhale, kicking the feet into the hands, the feet, the leg, the thighs come off the mat, the head and chest comes off the mat. Breathing. To come a little higher, just press a little bit more into those hands, inhaling and exhaling, make sure you're breathing. Good, inhale and as you exhale, Knees down, head down, hands by your shoulders, just release your legs, and then curling your toes, downward facing dog. Let's check the time here, good. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, from here, stepping your right foot forward and your left foot forward, folding forward, and then inhale, bending your knees, Bring your arms up, exhale, releasing your hands down to the mat. Okay, so now we're gonna do tree pose. We haven't done this in a few weeks, so back to tree. So now remember tree, the solidity. We want that standing leg to be solid. So first thing, always remember that you want that standing leg to be solid. Remember the foot position on the floor, on the calf, on the thigh, or half lotus, if that's okay with you that's comfortable, standing leg is solid, okay? So, take a moment first and find a spot in front of you that's not moving. So that's the best thing to do, find that spot. Okay, once you have your focus, engage that standing leg. From the foot, grow the roots into the ground all the way up, so that leg is strong. Now take the leg that you're gonna put into, that you're gonna bend and however you wanna bend it. Maybe it's at the ankle, calf, uh, thigh, or half lotus. You can hold on to your leg if you need to, like that, that's completely fine. Just get your balance. Staying calm in the mind. And then if you're ready, one hand, then the other. You can stay here, or if you'd like, you can raise both hands above your head, or you can keep your hands at your chest. Breathe. Squeeze that standing leg. Okay, inhale, releasing your hands. Bring your hands back to chest and release them if they're up in the sky. Release your hands, release your leg. Good. Okay, so thinking about how that feels now, if you make sure that if you were wobbling everywhere that you really get that leg solid first, then worry about the hands. That the, 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 the main part is the leg here. So, squeezing that standing leg. So now you're on the left side, and the right leg is squeezing. The left leg comes into the position of choice, so finding that focus again on the wall, <clears throat> and then moving the left foot however you choose. Maybe it's the same as the other side. Maybe it's not. That's fine. Holding the foot if you choose. Getting that balance. And then bringing one hand to your heart. Maybe the other. And maybe that's where you are. That's fine. Keeping that balance. And raising both hands above your head or keeping them at your heart. 
breathe. Bring your hands back to your heart. Breathe. Releasing your hands and then releasing your legs. So you may notice one side is a lot weaker. For me, it's my left. That, that's, the, sorry, my right standing on my right leg. So just notice those imbalances in the body and they change from day to day. And just respect them and over time, they get stronger. Okay, from here, come, sit, come down onto your knees, bring your strap, you're gonna need it. Now, if coming on your knees, if you're on a hard floor and that's too much, you can always fold your mat and then come down on the, on the folded part of your mat. If, that's, if it's too much for your knees, depending on what kind of floor you're on. So you may or may not need the strap here. We're gonna come into, into our, our shoulder opener. So, inhale, reaching the right arm in front of you first. I want you to reach it in front of you. And then as you bring it back, you rotate the arm up into the back. So instead of just sometimes, so this is what we're going for, but instead of just quickly running, going back, I want you to really get that arm and then rotate that arm as you're coming back. So, shimmying that arm up the back. I know we do this almost every time, but this is a great shoulder opener. Okay, from here, if your hands are not gonna touch, this is when you take the strap and you bring it into the left hand and you bring it back behind you. If your hands are gonna reach, just reaching the left arm over, grabbing hold of the fingers, maybe you're grabbing hold of, of your wrists. I, some of you may be there, I'm not sure. We're all working towards different goals. So as I'm in this position, this shoulder stays down. I don't want to have it too close to my ear. This left arm comes back towards my head. So I want to make sure that my neck, I'm not just looking forward, it's not stuck. I'm able to turn my head. I have a good range of motion and breathe. Just feeling that. If you can, maybe you can walk your fingers a little further along, along the strap or along your hand. Good, and then release, releasing your hands. Just feeling that in your shoulders. It's a, quite a shoulder opener. Okay, now the other side. Just left arm comes out, up, out, and then back. So as I come back, then I rotate it. It gives me more rotation in my shoulder. So now my hand is back, back. So take the strap in your right hand if you need it, bringing your right arm up and behind you. Interlacing your fingers, walking that right elbow back towards your head. The left shoulder is down, the head is free. And just breathe, breathe into that. If you feel any tension, just breathe right into it. Walking those hands together. Good, and then release. Good, releasing your arms, just feeling your shoulders. You can give them a shake if you need to. Okay, let's check the time. All right, we're good. Okay, so let's come back to our mat. Okay, standing in the center, coming to standing, coming to the center of our mat, and then stepping our legs so they're wide, wider than our hips. You may want to come nice and wide because we're going to come forward, fold forward here. So inhale, reaching your hands out, stretch like a star. Nice and wide, so the fingers are reaching, nice and strong. And then inhale, and as you exhale, folding forward, swan dive down, bringing your hands to the mat. If your hands don't touch the mat, use a block. Hold on to the block. Maybe the block is at, you know, there's three settings to the block, right? Flat, center, and, and then there's a higher setting like that. So use whatever setting you need to, you can bring your hands to the block or onto the mat, folding forward. You want to walk your hands or block back so they're back, so the hands are in line 
with the back, the heels of the feet. So you want to be nice and back on those hands. And then inhale and as you exhale, folding forward. Shifting the weight a bit to the balls of the feet so you can fold forward. If your head is easily touching the mat, you need to bring your feet closer together a little bit. So you want to be at a point where you're getting a stretch working towards the floor, but you're not touching the floor yet. Breathe. Good, inhale, hands on the hips, exhale, coming back to standing. Okay, walk your feet in just a little bit so you're not as wide. Inhale, turn the right foot to the right end of the mat, lining up the heel with the left arch of the foot. And then inhale, bending that knee, raising the arms, coming into warrior two, looking over that front arm. So here we are, we're in warrior two. Good, inhale, come back to center, turn the right foot forward, left foot is bent, and then bending down, coming into warrior two on the left side now. Good, inhale, come back to center. Now you need, may need your block. I'm just gonna bend forward to get it. Hopefully it's nearby. I want you to keep your block in your hand and then inhale, but turn that right foot to the edge of the mat, lining up the heels. Warrior two now on the right side. Hold on to your block with your right hand. So I'm gonna scoop back so you can see me. Okay, so now, all right. From here, make sure the camera, you get a good camera angle. So you're sinking down, warrior two. Now, you're gonna straighten that front leg. Inhale, we're gonna come to triangles, for those of you that know this. Inhale, and as you exhale, bringing the right hand on the outside of the left foot. I want you to use your block, okay? So maybe I want your palm to be flat on the block. So maybe it's at this angle, maybe it's this angle, maybe it's flat. Just palm to be flat. Using the block, stretching the left arm up, breathe. So now your, your hand is on the outside of the foot. Your, both your legs are straight and you're stretching that arm up. Looking up at the hand if it's okay, looking up at the left hand if it's okay for your neck and breathe. Good, inhale, grab your block, come back to warrior two. Good, turning the right foot in, left foot comes out, switch the block, so you need the block now in your left hand. So your left foot is pointing out, they find that alignment again, the warrior two alignment, and then inhale, sinking that left heel, left knee down, so you're now in warrior two, okay? Okay, we're gonna do that triangle again. So let's get settled in warrior two first a little bit. Take a breath here. Good, now inhale, stretching that front, uh, straightening that front leg, and as you exhale, coming into triangle. Remember, the block comes on the outside of the foot, the hand comes on the block. So you may notice, like I notice on this side, I'm a lot tighter. So I'm gonna adjust my block height so that I can really feel the, the nice extension in my, war, in my triangle here. Sometimes when we don't use the block, we lose the integrity of the pose. See, in triangle, I have a triangle here, triangle between my legs and a little triangle between my foot and my hand. So here I am, I'm lengthening the right arm up, looking up at the right hand, stretching. Both legs are straight, opening my chest, that's it. Breathe. Good, inhale, bending that front leg, hand, bringing the right hand to your hip, right left arm comes up, coming back into warrior two. Good, coming back to center, both feet facing forward. 
and then stepping or jumping the feet and the head legs together. Good. Okay. Dropping your block, but keeping it near your mat. You're going to need it next again. So just keeping it near your mat. Lie down. Okay, time check. Okay, we're good. So lying down, taking the block, bringing it between your thighs. So nice and uh, it's the thin way is pointing towards you. Nice between your thighs, right close up to your groin. <coughs> Excuse me. And then inhale, hands are on the mat. Exhale, lifting the legs up to the ceiling. So now your legs are on the legs are straight, lifting up. They're squeezing the block. So just notice that the, the job of squeezing the block turns on the abs. Your heels are pointed towards, not, your heels are pointing towards the ceiling. So your feet are nice and strong, point, legs are strong. Squeeze, squeeze that block. Just squeeze it. It's a simple act of squeezing that block, it activates those abs. Making sure that lower back stays down, the shoulders stay down. Squeeze. Good, knees back down to the mat. Okay, remove the block, both legs up to the ceiling. Squeeze. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna need the knot in my shirt is underneath me, okay. Now, okay. Inhale, keeping the left leg straight. Bring the right leg 45 degrees. Hold. Back up to center. Straighten those legs. Left leg 45 degrees. Hold. Back up to center. Right leg 45 degrees. Hold. Back up to center. Left leg 45 degrees. Hold. Back up to center. Right leg, 45 degrees. Hold. Back to center. Left leg, 45 degrees. Hold. Back to center. One more time. Right leg, 45 degrees. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, back to center. Left leg, 45 degrees, hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze, four, three, two, one, back to center, good. Drop the knees down to the, drop the feet down to the mat. Good, open the heels, bringing the soles of the feet together. Open the knees out to the side. Stretching, Supta Baddha Konasana. Just feel the stretch. Allow the knees, allow gravity to take over. Allow the knees to soften. Good, bring the knees back to center. Coming up, bringing the feet, holding onto the outside of the feet, coming into happy baby. Just stretching here. Good. Bringing the feet down to the mat, bringing the arms out like airplane wings, walk the, the hips over to the left, just two inches, drop the knees to the right, look over to the left. Now, your knees are to the right, the, the hips are over, the uh, head is looking over to the left. Take the top leg, that's your left leg, and just stretch it out, making the twist a little bit deeper, just stretching it, noticing your other shoulder may want to lift, just bringing both, keeping both shoulders down. Good, knees back to center. Walk the hips slowly over to the right, just a few inches. Knees come down to the left. Head goes to the right. So first come into the base position. Knees are working their way down. And then for an added stretch, stretch that top leg out. I'm a little stuck here with this cabinet, but stretching the top leg out. So you're just feeling the, the stretch. 
you're allowing the shoulder, the head to come to the right, the knees are going to the left. That feels good. All right, inhale, coming back to center. Good. Stretching your arms along the mat, interlacing your thumbs, reaching them up above your head like butterflies, walking your heels along the mat, taking a nice long stretch here. Good. I'm just conscious of the time because Instagram just drops it right at the one hour mark. Good, inhale, bring your knees back to your chest, giving them a hug. Bring your hands on your knees, just rotating your hips left and right, to roll, turning your knees to the right and then to the left a few times, just gently massaging the lower back. Stretching out your legs, slowly rolling to your right side, coming to sitting. So I'm gonna, we're gonna sit for a minute, I'm gonna close the class out, but please feel free to sit after, take a Shavasana, lie down, you know, take the time for yourself. So just coming, sitting on your mat, just closing your eyes, do a brief meditation just to end our class. Thinking of our intention of gratitude. Thankfulness for your time on the mat, taking the time for yourself. Thankfulness for everything that you have in your life. Looking for those silver linings. Share your silver lining with me. I'd love to hear what it is. We all have them. I'm thankful to you, my students, for coming and sharing this with me. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Please take the time for yourself, take a Shavasana, and I'll see you on Thursday.